What's up guys, Devin from Grillaholics here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you step-by-step -step how to use your Grillaholic Stuff Burger Press and give you a few tips on how to get the most out of your Stuff Burger Press. Let's dig into this. All right guys, so the Grillaholic Stuff Burger Press is pretty straightforward. The top half is what you will use to actually flatten and press your burger. If you remove this cap, that's how you can get to the smaller press to make your pocket. The bottom part is where you will build your dream burger and it has a removable plate which will help you lift your burger out to get it out of the burger press nice and easy. The Grillaholic Stuff Burger Press is perfect for regular burgers and stuffed burgers. To make a, a regular burger, first take about a half a pound of beef in the press or up to a half a pound and simply press it, get it nice and flat and then you can push up on the lift plate to remove your burger and then you have a perfectly shaped regular burger. So stuffed burgers are a little bit more interesting. We recommend using up to half a pound. You can use less, but the more meat you have, the easier it is to get a good seal. Split it in about half, but the bottom we want a little bit bigger just so that you can make a deeper cavity. Next, we're gonna press that piece flat. This is important so that you can get the walls of your cavity to be even. Otherwise, you know, the, the pocket might not be um, able to hold all the stuffings. So then we will remove the top cap, center it over the piece of meat and create our cavity. Once your cavity is created, you just lift and twist. And now the part that we've all been waiting for, we're gonna stuff it. Today we're using a little bit of uh, triple cheddar and some bacon. Then once you've stuffed your burger, next we gotta do the top and seal it. So you can take uh, the piece of beef or whatever else you're using, press it flat a little bit on the board. I like to try to get it you know, nice and spread out so that I know I'm gonna get a good seal. And then you just press it and seal it. Get a nice deep press, you wanna push firm so that it uh, seals all the edges. And if you get any extra that kinda of squeeze out, you can just wipe that right off. Either use it for your next one or toss it. Then we're just going to twist and then pop it up from the bottom. Now you're ready to grill your stuffed burger. All right guys, so while that's grilling, I want to give you a few tips to get the most out of your Grillaholic stuffed burger press. First off, you can use any type of meat with your press, whether it's ground chicken, beef, pork, turkey, whatever you like. But if you use something that's a little bit leaner, like chicken or turkey, you might want to use a little bit of cooking oil on the inside of your press just to help keep it from sticking. We've also found that if your meat is chilled, it is much less likely to stick than if it's started to come up to room temperature. Regarding cleanup, cleanup is super simple. If there's any meat left over stuck onto the press, just rinse it off in the sink, separate all the pieces, throw it in the top rack of your dishwasher, and then you're good to go. We want to thank you for tuning in and watching this video. There's tons of awesome things you can do with your stuffed burger press. We'd love to see what you create. Just send them our way. We'll catch you guys later. Cheers to being a Grillaholic.